the problem with black people and white people is that people say black people and white people. Yeah, instead of just people. Yeah, instead of just people. I was watching this video. It's an annoying video of this lady calling the cops and this little eight-year-old black girl who's selling water. Have you seen it? Viral oh, video. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Viral video. She's not supposed to sell water. She's calling the fucking police. <laughs> She's saying selling water without a permit, and her mom videotapes her yeah. and puts it up and makes it viral. And that's one of those videos where it's everything's in the right place. The white lady is overweight. She's just <laughs> angry exactly looking, like you want. overweight white lady. The little black girl is as cute as a button. The mom is uh, the mom is talking to her in a way that's like not too aggressive. She goes, she out here calling the police on a little girl trying to sell water. We see you, boo. Like she's not being horrible. Yeah. And everything just fell into place. To this like perfect example of like what's happening here. Like is this racism or is this someone who's just just complains about everything. Would well, she be doing okay. that for an eight-year-old little yeah, girl? Yeah, you don't know. That's white? I, I hear the argument a lot of, like, you wouldn't do this if it was a man. You wouldn't Might. do this if it was a woman. You Who wouldn't knows? do this if it was black. But it's like, you're not basing it on any set of... It's just like one example versus one example. Well, you're not... Pro you don't, there's no proof that I worked she wouldn't have Beverly done Hills that with an eight-year-old white I worked at the Beverly girl. Hills Chamber of Commerce. And whenever somebody wanted new seating, like like sidewalk seating, they had to just get through. But all it would take is one housewife from the area to get a stick up their ass about the rules. And say, no, no. And like, it'll be done by 8 p.m. There won't be any inf hurt on the on the people around us. We'll mm. clean up. And if she goes, no, then it's like 24 more hoops to jump. Mm. You know? And yeah. it's just because these housewives have nothing to do better than to enforce rules. So, could be that. Could, could be, that. be, fuck these black kids. I don't, I don't, I don't have any idea. She was on the, um, so on an interview talking about it, which is a terrible idea, by the way. Who? The white the chick? The lady, yeah. And she put all this makeup on and everything, which is also a terrible it's idea. It's like Mimi from Drew Carey show. It was just, it was just not good. Oh, my God. You went with a Drew Carey reference? <laughs> I forgot about her. Um, but th the whole thing was, she was saying that she was working and that she had the window open. The little girl was shouting and screaming. She was trying to make it look bad she as was possible. A yeah, she was a victim. And she said she apologized to both the little girl and the mom, but they won't accept her apology. Which is like, okay. Well, you know, there's nothing wrong with accepting someone's apology. Clearly, she shouldn't have done that. Like, yeah. you shouldn't tell a little eight-year-old not sell water on a hot day. Who gives a fuck? Like, that doesn't make any sense. I can say also just going, hey, come on, guys, don't scream by my window. Yeah, don't like, did scream. Did you take that step first? Yeah, like, maybe. She was saying that it was a hot day, and so she had her window rolled down, and the kid was screaming. But apparently, she didn't talk to them. She didn't talk to the kid, and she didn't talk to the mom. She just called the police and went outside. Well, see, that's a problem. People are so antisocial, they just go straight to, like, someone deal with it instead of just like, hey, I'm, it's like when you get a note in your apartment door saying something. It's like, just, or the front door. You're like, just come to my apartment and knock. Just yeah. ask once. Just try it humanly once. And then go to the other step. So they compared her with this white chick the who Hitler. called on she the, called the police on the barbecue. Yeah. And they're the same person. She, Not really, but oh. yes. <laughs> it's like, that would be crazy. imagine this bitch oh is my just God. ruthless? She's doubling down. <laughs> <laughs> She's just going for but it. But they look so similar, man. Like in the way, the shape of their body. It's that housewife, it's man. The, yep, it's that. Middle-aged white housewife. It's a fucking shitty, the worst position to be in in the world. Ah, oh. it's, there's definitely there's nothing worse. to do. <laughs> there, look. Come on, son. Yes. Come on, look at the two of them together. They're both on the phone with these like sexually ambiguous forms. <laughs> like you know that that's a woman, but y you know, both of them. They're they're overweight. It's just weird. It's weird. Oh, they're oh like uh, clearly you. I'm gonna go out on a limb. I don't think most. I will say most people that are shaped like that don't feel good. <laughs> don't feel good. They don't feel good. Right? They they're upset at stuff. You ever, you ever have somebody screaming about something? Like, you're not supposed to sell waters here. But just meet them with like, what happened to you? Yeah. Why are you so angry? But you're right. not supposed to. I was like, mm -hmm, sure, okay, yeah. I'll give you that. So why are you so mad? Selling water without a permit. Hmm. Hmm. I got a discussion with somebody on Twitter way back about that guy, Michael Brown. Got, uh, I can't breathe. Was that Michael Brown? Eric Garner. It was Eric Garner. Yeah. Um, and New somebody's York. like, yeah, but what you don't understand is I have a business and like I sell, let's say I sell cigarettes and somebody's undercutting me with no permits right outside that really hurts my business. And I was like, okay, sure, I'll give you that. Do you think the punishment for that should be choking someone maybe till like can't breathe? And he's like, oh, no, no, that's too much of a punishment. I was yeah. Like, yeah, okay. Well, here's the problem with that. The um, official version of that is that he didn't have any cigarettes on him. He did not? No, he had nothing. He had nothing. What? Yeah, no, he had nothing. When they, they had arrested him before for that, but he was clean. Oh. So 
He all didn't that, have cigarettes? He was telling them, leave him the fuck alone. He's like, you're all always out here fucking with me. Just leave me the fuck alone. And they started And then back. they wanted to frisk him. And it was for no reason. Oh, my God. Not even cigarettes. Even just with cigarettes, out. is still too much. It's like, just give me the ticket, bitch. Yes. They shouldn't touch him. I mean, and he wasn't a violent guy. He wasn't like like threatening them in some sort of a way. And and then they tried to say that it wasn't a chokehold. I'm like, bitch, let me put you in that. Dude, I let passed by these neck. two cops and I wanted to... Uh... They were, one was set right after that in New York and was like, that's not a chokehold. And I want, I wanted to stop and go, actually, I'm friends with an expert on the subject and he does say that. It's a chokehold. fucking chokehold. I'll choke you to death like that. Yeah. I will choke you to death with that. How is it's that not underneath, a chokehold? Listen, he's got his hands gripped. That is like the same, ver it's a backwards version of what you would call like a Marcelo Garcia guillotine, which means like there's certain guys that are really good at getting the blade of the forearm across your esophagus. It's very painful. And um, like some of, like Amal Easton taught me how to do this in, Shout out to Boulder, Colorado. Uh, Amal Easton is a jiu-jitsu coach, and he's got a fantastic guillotine. And one of the things about his guillotine is he knows how to get that blade of that into bone right into your esophagus. It's horrific. It feels terrible. And they do it like with a high elbow so you can't escape it. It's, and it, it's a, an immediate feeling. That guy has his forearm right across that guy's throat. Yeah. There's no doubt about it. If I'm holding that like that, and I'm clam he has his hands clasped together. Can you make it a little bigger? So like you can see hand his, his out, uh, right not, hand. Like, resist, like, it's crazy. Yeah, see, but you can still choke someone out, even if his hand. I can't tell if his hands are connected. I think they are. It looks like he's no, got I a mean, hand inside his hand. Eric Garner's no, hands are like one hundred percent, one hundred percent, and his arm is behind his back too. Ah. But the point is, the guy who's choking him, the way he's doing that, you could choke a guy like that with one arm. You yeah. don't even have to have that right arm in play. If he's got that left arm oh, underneath the clasps. neck like that, all he has to do is hook the the back of the head or put the uh, shoulder rather the traps. You if you, so your arms are long from, enough uh, from San Jose, he got somebody in a Jake one arm. Shields. Yeah, you yeah. get somebody in one arm guillotine. Yeah, Jake could do anybody like that. Um, Tito Ortiz did that uh, in the UFC before. He choked somebody out with a one arm guillotine. Damn. Um, Luke Rockhold did it to Michael Bisping. He got him in a mounted uh, one armed uh, guillotine. I mean, here's the problem. Why don't the other cops ever go, hey, Tony, that's enough? Yeah, you, listen, man, that's a goddamn chokehold. I know chokeholds. I commentate them on for a fucking living. That's yeah. a chokehold. And if you don't think it's a chokehold, let me put you in it. Let me put you in it. Let's see how long you last. What? That's, a, that's a fucking chokehold.